you know, I know you mentioned your father. Yeah. And as we all know, the great renowned Fernando Vargas, former junior middleweight champ of the world. Um, what Obviously, he's your father and he's your trainer. But describe to us the feeling of having that pressure amongst you and your brothers. Yeah. Of having to carry on that last name and that legacy. You know, if we were a family of uh, lawyers, you know what I'm saying? I'd be the best lawyer there is because, or a family of mechanics. I'd be the best mechanic there is because it's just passed down. And I know there's a lot of families like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just your trade, right? And, um, you know, even being younger, I, I remember, uh, you know, <laughs> going to school and, and, uh, They'd be really reading down roll call and, and uh, they'd be like, uh, Vargas, like, are, are you related to Fernando Vargas? Oh, I'm shit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh, damn. That's yeah, cool. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I was younger, I really, I, like, I didn't think much of my dad being, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was just like, I just thought my dad boxed, mm -hmm. <laughs> making like a couple people like taking pictures of him, whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it, it definitely, You know, as I got older and, 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 you know, it took 45 minutes for us to get out of a certain spot. And, like, I'm dead. I'll see you at home. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like That's fair. Look, but that's a blessing, though. Um, You know, you got fighters that, you know, fight their whole careers. And, and uh, you know, they don't have the backing or the fan base like that. And I just think that's, that's, that's God's favor. I remember being younger and asking my dad, like, do you ever get tired of it? You know what I'm saying? People, That's a real point, yeah. People like stopping you and taking pictures and, you know, you're just trying to leave or whatever the case may be. And he just told me, he said, look, at the end of the day, you're nothing without your friends, you know? And and at the end of the day, they support you and they pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? And 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 look, um, you know, I, I truly believe that uh, you're not self-made. And I'll say that again, you know, it's, it's a lot of people that help you along the way. And like you fans, whether you hate me or you love me, you know, I appreciate you because you guys really do, you know, um, are a part of this as much as, you know, my dad is or my family is. And, um, you know, uh, not to get too much off topic, but um, that 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 stigma will always be on my on my career, not just my life, but um I, I know I know I made it when uh, Google when you Google my name it doesn't say Fernando Vargas is son mm. anymore mm. you know what I'm saying it does yeah. say that <laughs> it does it yeah. does say that and and yeah. you know I, I I think that'll be a good accomplishment for myself <laughs> for like okay like I I think I think it, ten fights ten fights ten and all we could do that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who's running um, Google or whatever. We'll make some you calls. Word, we'll you make know some what calls. I'm saying? But like I said, we, he trains you. And there's been a lot of chatter in the past about boxers having their fathers train them or managing them and stuff like that. And it, there's always like the pushback on it. Like, oh, it doesn't work or you don't mix family and business. What is it about your relationship with your father that makes it beneficial to both you as a fighter and him as a trainer outside of just him being I, I your think, father? I think he knows me. He knows me. He knows how I conduct myself when I'm feeling a certain way. Um, you know, when when I'm on or when I'm off or, you know, it's it's uh, definitely we're going to bump heads and we have bumped heads before. But um, there's a level of respect. I think that uh, fighters need to take accountability for. I think uh, a great example of that is uh, Sean Porter. Uh, he likes to come around when we're training as well, but. The amount of, of respect that he has for his dad is ridiculous. Like, yes, sir, no, sir, at the age of, well, how old is he, 30-something? Yeah, something. he's in his mid-30s, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it, there comes that separation of father and trainer, you know? Um, because obviously, you know, it, it's, it's different and it's a different hat when you're seeing your son fight. Because obviously, and I've had this conversation with my dad, you know, <laughs> I'll probably be mad at him if he were to stop one of my fights. But then I understand that's my dad at the end of the day, you know, and whether we're, we're, we're you know, 25, 30 fights in, let's say that day never comes. But at the same time, I know that he loves me too much to lose me. 
And, um, you know, because this is the hurt sport, man. This is, there's some fights on my, on my dad that I don't like watching, of course, because at the same time, this is the hurt business. And, and you know, it is what it is, you know, that created my dad's legacy and his career. But, you know, I, I as a young fighter, you never wish to be in any of those predicaments. But they help you grow and they help you learn and, and, and you know, it's part of it, man. I, I just I just know that um, having my dad there and having my dad in the corner, and not just that, my brothers being there too, is is it's dope. It's dope. Like, I don't have to start by myself. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I don't have to, hey, it's 11 o'clock at night. I got to go run. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm hitting my last workout. And, and, and my brother run with me. 